What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. And today, I am back with... Well, not back, but I have new fish in my tank. You probably, probably... Some of you guys probably don't know this, but I have a fish tank. And I got something super cool. So, let me walk over here first. A little hint. What do you see? Oh, yeah, I'm recording on my phone. What do you see right there? What is that? <laughs> leave your comments down below. Well, you know what? Don't leave your comment. I will have a trivia to see if one of you guys oh, see if one of you guys can get it. That is called a clown pleco, and you guys might be wondering why not the regular common pleco? I only have a ten gallon tank. The um, like the average pleco that you see that has the white spots on it, like um. This guy actually is cheaper, and I can have him for a lifetime. But, like, as you can see here, oh my god, why is it so zoomed in? It's, he's tiny. He's only, he gets a, maybe a little bit bigger than that. So, as you can see him swimming. He's so sick. And, um, make sure you guys something really cool at the end the next thing my two mollies um i got a, a silver molly right there right up uh, right there named iron molly right there that's a standard molly i think i think that's a regular molly his name is streak and then i have the five amigos uh, let me look around here um the five amigos. Where is one of them? There is one of them. So, um, I got a little shrimps. The five amigos, the name is. Um, there's usually a shrimp under that one right there. I don't think there is right now. There's usually a shrimp under there, too. So, what I really want to show you, what I'm here, what I made this video for, is... Can you see that? Can you see that? It's only a 10 gallon tank, okay? That is the mighty Tyson. It's Tyson. That's his name. It's a red tailed catfish. And, um. It's from the Amazon, so. Right there, I'm gonna. Maybe you can see that little mark right there. But that's him. Um, he, he's only about three, four inches long. It's about as big as this guy gets. And he will be eventually going into my pond. Look at him. Look at him. A little sucker. So, as of right now, I got a... Oh my god, you can see that one on my face. Where's the lights? So, um... I'll sit down here. I want you to post the comment. Should I leave that big one in there? Or should I take the small one out and put plants? Like that right there? And maybe like put like this big old rock in there. You know? <laughs> um, I actually have dead coral somewhere that um, I want to put in there. So um, as of right now, I'm going to take that out. And I'm gonna put it into a bucket, okay? With all my, I'm gonna take that out, put it into a bucket, start washing it off, and then I'm gonna put. So they'll basically not have anything to hide under for one day. But um, I'm gonna once they rinse out the dead coral and everything, get the salt water off of it. I'm gonna put the coral inside the bucket, full of bacteria and stuff. So the bacteria will um, go onto the coral, so I can have more bacteria in there. At the same time, I don't need much more bacteria, and I'm thinking about getting more plants and maybe like giving that a, that other one away, so like I can see him better. I want. I actually have something downstairs that I could use too. My brother would 100% let me use them, because you know his tank. Well, you guys don't know, but his tank, he can't. Like, use it anymore because, you know. 
And also, what's cool about this, if the red tail ever gets, like, starting to picky, I've had this for a while now. Oh, So, this is a, um, I don't know if you can see that, how I see it, but it's, um, a divider. So, the divider is basically for, oh wait, I'm dumb. This is not the divider. Wait a minute. This is a. I'm so stupid. Where's my divider at? That's not good. I don't know where my divider is. Well, never mind. And so, um, I'm actually gonna probably go do it right now. So everything can get situated. There's no more like uh, he's already they're already like settled in. They're already pooping. They're already eating. They're, I'm feeding them shrimp pellets and flakes. Um, you have to have something. I'm feeding Tyson and the pleco and the shrimp. Um, these shrimp pellets here. Um, did you guys that like right there? Okay, so, now you like my watch? Yeah, I know you see that. Yeah, so, um, I'm going to go on out. Okay. So, this is basically what it is. It's basically what you feed the koi, koi fish, but instead of sinking version. And they're, <laughs> they smell actually pretty good. So, I think I might, no, nope. okay. So I think I might just actually pop this one in real quick, see what happens to it. Probably the mollies would get it first. The mollies do want to eat it. Okay, the mollies stared at it. Oh God. So Tyson will eat that later. And um, I think I'm going to end the video off here. I'm probably going to go do the thing that I want to do. I'm going to have one for Tyson. Some rocks probably, like... The um, one for the, I really don't know. So Ty, what I'm thinking of doing is taking away that big one. Cause there's no room for Tyson, you know? He already like bumped his head a few times. Probably did it more times cause I was at school. But, so I'm gonna end the video off here. So peace.